okay, find then. the max R value. So the max R value, that's like, uh, it's kind of like a range kind of situation, right? right? But for polar graphs, um, since we have R's and thetas, it's a little different. Right, and I, I tend to sometimes think of this max R value as maximum radius, even though we're not really working with circles, but the radius changes Right, right. Like, how, like how far, yeah. like if we're looking at the graph, how far is the farthest we get away right. from zero? From, What's yeah. the biggest What's radius? What's the biggest radius, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So it says here the max R value for a polar equation occurs at a point on the curve that is the maximum distance from the pole. Um, these max values will occur at the tips of the pedals on a curve, or this is not really the same kind of curve. This is actually... That's a cardioid. That's a cardioid, which uh, it, you might it's think that sounds curve. like cardiac, which is like heart, heart yeah, right? So heart. this is a heart-shaped graph. And uh, the max R value here, it has to be like this out here, right? right. Which would be at four, right? Yeah. Okay, and, and this other graph here is to point out, this first one we graphed in um, polar, in polar, polar form, form mm -hmm. right? And so uh, the second one we graphed, we went ahead and took the same graph and we graphed it in rectangular right. or function mode. But if you look, we can see really easily here, not only what the R the max R value is, but, but where, where, where it happen. happens. And, and think about this. I'm going to trick question. Uh, K. Steve, um, what's the largest value that cosine will ever be equal to? <laughs> cosine? Yeah. One? Yeah. OK. And, and what's the? What's the, <laughs> what's the largest value that, that sine will ever? Uh, One. I didn't even finish the question. Uh, it'll be one. But, uh, and then and then if you put that one right there, yeah. you have two times one, which is two, yeah, plus right. two, yes. which is which four. Is, yeah. That must be how they're getting it. Maybe. I, okay. Another um, okay trick question number three. What's okay. The, what's the smallest value that cosine will ever have? You said cosine, right? Gosh, it, yes. It'd be negative one. All right. Same for okay. sine. Same for sine. Dang it. Okay. How many floors are on the Empire State Building? 196. Dang it! Malatric questions. Okay, Steve. <laughs>